prepping before a match. I like to be by myself. I like to do my shadow boxing by myself. I like to take that time alone to, to really look inside myself and think about the game plan, the skill sets that we've gone through, um, the different movements, um, and really just get myself focused and set up. Right before we, right before we, we walked up, my dad pulled me aside and, and said, no matter how, how it goes in there, uh, I'm proud of you. It's championship time for the 2008 Golden Gloves. Here are a few highlights from fight night at Memorial. Next up, the 132-pound men, Joe Martin and White, facing fan favorite Lucian Benway. Benway taking control in round three. Going into that, those times training with Coach Bob, um, I knew that I loved boxing and when we started sparring and I, he told me I had a natural talent. I felt like I was decent at it, but I knew I had a long way to go. Um, and traditionally, you, know, you have guys that are coming up to, they take some matches before the Golden Gloves. Well, for whatever reason, whether it was time constraints or not being able to travel, um, Golden Gloves were coming up in late January. It was coming up to the end of the year, and I was in good enough shape, he thought, to compete. And there wasn't enough time to take a match before then, so we decided that my first match would be in Golden Gloves. I had two gyms that I went to, one that was on campus, and that I would squeeze in workouts in between classes where I could, then other blocks of time I would study in between those classes, and then I'd make my way in the evening, um, five days a week, to go see my boxing coach and, and work strategy and work things with him in the gym. Preparing for any fight, we're just, we're looking at everything that we've done um, through the past years. Uh, the finals is a little different because you can have you know, one to two fights to look at your opponent and, and you know break them down a little bit, right? Uh, so we would we would film our opponents or the other people in the weight class, and we'd take some time on the day after Sunday uh, to to look at how they competed and their movement and see if we could pick apart some things. Maybe they weren't moving correctly laterally, left or right. Uh, maybe they they um, you know they dropped their jab after they they threw it. And just looking for those little openings and then. You know, taking Sunday after the film day to rest, and then you know the next two three days, trying to uh, add those pieces of strategy to our to our game plan. The semifinals, my champion um, championship year, I I felt really good. I was lucky enough to have not only my my boxing coach who did all my strategy stuff, but I was also lucky enough to have a kickboxing coach who did all my conditioning and my strength work. Um, so. I was in probably the best shape of my life. I tried to be modest, but I was, I was dominating him. So I think, and I, yeah, I cut him. So I think that's what Mitt was decision was. Before the championship match, I was doing that, and uh, right before we, right before we, we walked up, my dad pulled me aside and and said, "Look, no matter how how it goes in there, uh, I'm proud of you." And for me, that was that was huge. It was my father walking into the ring with me, and uh, for whatever reason, that made the outcome of that match okay, regardless of what it was, and that took all the pressure off. I had my game plan. I, I knew what I was going to go in and do. I knew we were, you know, I knew that we had to win that match, and I, I wanted that. But knowing that my dad had my had, had my back 100% like that uh, meant the world to me. And we went in and did work.